Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Brush, and I make indie games for a living. It is officially official. <laughs> my game, Father, which is my next, uh, it's my third commercial commercial release. Uh, this game is officially at GDC right now. Me and my team scrambled really hard to get this demo ready to go. And so I just wanted to show you guys the demo, and more importantly, I wanted to show you why the demo, although it looks beautiful, right now underneath the hood it's a complete mess so we're going to jump into unity i'm going to show you the game but i'm also going to show you how it's working underneath the hood and why it's kind of broken guys let's start this demo from the very very beginning all right so we start out in a train just like half-life um and let's go ahead and explore this beautiful creepy world here okay, i can jump Is anyone there? Good grief. It's a my weird looking dude. My name is Adams. I'm looking for my daughter. Is anyone there? Over. I'm going to pause it and I want to show you guys how it's put together. The first thing I wanted to take note of, especially related to why this demo is completely broken, uh, is because there's a lot of optimization issues with this level. You can see here that a lot is loaded all at once. So I'm not really sure how we're gonna handle this for the final release of the game, uh, but right now there is a lot loaded here. Now obviously we have um, plenty of assets that are created by me and Felipe. Felipe is my lead 3D modeler, so he's doing a good chunk of these models here. Um, he's doing this beautiful bridge here that he created. Um, he made this awesome sort of botanical area with these beautiful, very strange looking uh, <laughs> Venus fly traps. Um, he's done a ton of beautiful models here, even just little pieces of wood here. Um, but he's also using assets, okay? So I wanted to jump into the Unity Asset Store really quick and show you guys the various assets that we're using. Now I've actually tagged them as the assets that we're using in Father here. So we're using Fantasy Plants. This is used in the garden area. He's also using a few other garden elements as well in this surround dead garden. Um, but the, the asset that we're really using and taking advantage of that we, we use a lot is the Fantasy Forest Environment. You can see right here that this actually looks very similar to what Father looks like. Um, these trees here, but we can tweak the colors, we can change the shading and the materials to make it fit Father. So we definitely don't shy away from using uh, assets in Father. But again, we also don't shy away from creating what we call landmarks. And these are, th these are basically elements in our map that we want them to look specifically unique to Father. Otherwise, the game will look like a complete asset flip game. So, that, for example, Felipe created this beautiful um, lighthouse here that's very unique to Father. Or, you know, these custom spiders that I created um, inside of Blender. All right, let's go ahead and make our way through this creepy world here. Blessed Mother. It's a weird looking woman stretching to the tower over there, and that tower is called Edenfell Tower. Yeah. Uh, Hello? Dad? Eve? Eve? Is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dad. What are you doing here? What's going on? Are you safe? Yeah, Dad. I decided to stay here for Christmas. You're kidding me, right? I was worried sick, sweetheart. Please tell me you didn't spend your savings flying out here. I'm picking you up. You're coming home. I'm fine. Go home. Where are you? Eve. Eve! Uh, I want to talk about the voice acting really quick. I'm really proud of the voice actors and actresses. Guys, it's as simple as going to Voices.com, posting your job. Uh, this isn't sponsored by Voices.com, I've just been using them for all of my games. Um, the father figure in this game, his name is Roy is played by Dick Terhune, and he actually played Mr. Pinstripe in my first game, he played Dr. Smile in my next game, Never Song, and now he's playing the main character, again, Roy Adams. Uh, Dick 
is an incredible voice actor. Dick Terhune, every day, more of our dogs are feeling free and looking their best. He's, he's just got such a deep, um, professional voice. Also, Abigail Turner is playing the daughter. She was actually the character of John. She played a child in my previous game, Never Song. From your home, from your friends. So she's got a very uh, beautiful voice, so I hired her almost immediately. Um, and then Emmeline Tuck, she's actually a voice actress for this game, Heat and Blood Right. Maybe some of you know this game. Um, so I was actually really excited when I found out that she did voice acting for this game. And so I hired her to do the voice of the Blessed Mother Eve. Dad, I'm fine. Go home. Where are you, Eve? Eve! <laughs> All right, so just like Half-Life and Half-Life 2, which this game is very much inspired by, uh, we have an ax, uh, just like the crowbar. Some boxes. Let's right. grab these coins. So there's a lot of classic first-person shooter elements to this game. Uh, floating coin objects, floating ammo, floating health, and obviously creepy monsters. Oh gosh. So I actually had to change the blood from red to orange because I heard through the grapevine a buddy of mine in the industry was saying that it's really tough right now to sell hyper violent games so I mean I will see I don't know it's probably a really bad decision on my part but I think I'm gonna try and make this game more of a monster game with you know orange guts and see if we can get away with that it really sucks because I honestly I love violent games but Gotta also remember I'm running a business here, so I gotta figure out a way to to sell this thing. All right, so I got a blue key. So just like classic games like Doom, um, we collect a key and then we go find a door to use the key. It's really that simple. Oh gosh. So now we've got creepy spiders. Again, guys, this game is very much inspired by Half-Life. So definitely got to throw in some spider sort of head crab type enemies. Oh my. Use that key. Dad, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Blessed Mother has spoken. She told me. Who? She told me you just killed someone. Who did you kill, Dad? What the hell are you doing? That wasn't a person. We've got to get you out of here, Eve. The ceremony's starting. I gotta go. You should leave. What? Eve, don't do this. Not again. Do what? Leave? You really want to go there? Look, I know I've been a dad. I get it. But you're not going to leave me again. <laughs> wow. Okay. Bye. Eve, sweetie. Eve! So I definitely wanted to go ahead and show you guys some of the custom models that were created for this game. Um, so obviously, you know, I, I mentioned earlier that this game is broken in a lot of ways. On the other side of this hand, you'll see that our fingers are completely whack. I mean, they're, they're like broken. So there's a lot of elements of this game that, you know, we kept them the way they are and, and sort of 
you know, faked, faked them looking good just for the purposes of this demo. But the moment that you turn off the post-processing effects and um, the lighting, everything looks really bland and really boring, okay? So let me show you really quick what happens in the actual game view when I turn off the fog and the post-processing effects. So here's what happens when we turn off the fog. So let's hit play here and take a look. It's pretty amazing um, how, <laughs> whoa, get out of here. Gosh. Um, so it's pretty amazing what happens when the fog is turned off. It doesn't look terrible, but it's close. I mean, it doesn't look, it doesn't look the best. Um, but if I pause it and then turn off the post-processing, so there's bloom, let's turn off the bloom. Wow, I mean, bloom is huge, right? Um, so if we turn off the bloom, everything sort of goes flat. The, the lights no longer glow, and a lot of these shines on the gun no longer glow. We can turn off the vignette, and so the edges go a little bit more bright. It's not as moody. So if we turn all that off, this is really what the game looks like. It looks very, I mean, honestly, it looks really cheap. Um, it looks a lot like what you might see maybe even late N64 games or even GameCube games. Um, the game runs pretty good though um, when all these post-processing effects are off. So this is another aspect of the demo that's really broken, which is the frame rate is really getting knocked down because of all these different post-processing effects, making up for the fact that you know there's a few elements of the graphics here that we could probably fix without post-processing effects, but I don't know, I'm a little too lazy. So let's go ahead and turn those post-processing effects back on. Let's keep playing. All right, so it looks like we have a well here. Let's go ahead and make our way into the well. So there's definitely some issues with the nav mesh, which is basically the mesh that the enemies can walk on. Let me show you really quick what this um, sewer system actually looks like. Right now it looks like it's dug underneath the ground, but really all it is is just this little maze here. Um, just a bunch of pieces that we've connected together. So for example, you know, I can disable it and show it to you. So really just a very simplistic piece of mesh <laughs> that Felipe's created and we just snap them together, right? Okay, I'm definitely lost here. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can find our way out of here. Man, I don't even know my way around my own game. Um, okay, let's see here. There we go. Alright, let's find our way out of this sewer here and take a look. Alright. Gracious. Oh my. So, totally different enemy type. Um, these launch little spitballs. I'm gonna die. There we go. Okie dokie. I just died. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everything works with the save system. So, obviously, we don't have a death sequence. So, that's another aspect of this demo that's very, very broken. By the way, guys, you can see here that when I shoot things, there's a very subtle pause, very subtle, almost a freeze frame effect. Um, that's using time dot time scale, and it sets it to like basically zero for just a split second. And it makes it feel like the bullets are hitting flesh. For some reason, when you freeze the camera, and you see this in Hollow Knight as well, when you freeze the camera um, or the time scale of the game, 
it feels like those bullets are really digging into the flesh. Uh, but you got to be really careful with it because it can be an annoying f effect. So there's an enemy somewhere. There he is. Okay, you're totally lost. See, like I said, guys, this demo is completely bugged out. All right. <laughs> no pun intended. There we go. Awesome. All right, let's see here. There's a lighthouse. There he is. Okay. Let's make our way up to the lighthouse. So these are actually my favorite enemy types. They're a lot of fun to kill. Um, so I'm going to probably put a lot more of them throughout the rest of this map. Oh, gosh. What? Like I said, plenty of bugs. <laughs> oh, I think I got shot by this guy. Oh, gosh. Crap. So one of the major problems with this demo is, for some reason, as I scale this lighthouse here, the game's frame rate starts to significantly decrease. It starts to render all this stuff, right? It's really starting to have a big hiccup, and I'm not even sure why it's rendering right there. So that's just stuff we've got to figure out uh, for this demo. I have no idea. All right, let's keep going, guys. We've got 25 bullets, so we should be able to use some of our ammo here. I love this. This was a great idea by Felipe. Really great idea. I like this a lot. Really cool. Forcing the player to crouch along the uh, edge here. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh! Mm. Let's see if we can get that really quick. There we go. Oop! Watch out. Okay, so I gotta figure out a way to get across here. Okay, so there's these giant nipples. <laughs> okay, I'm probably gonna change this, although I really like, uh, you know, this was this was a, um, a pleasant memory of live streaming with you guys. You guys wanted, I'm gonna blame you guys. You guys wanted uh, bouncy nipples. All right, there we go. <sighs> so I definitely wanted bounce pads because very much like Quake and I think Doom as well. Um, the ability to bounce and have verticality is really fun in these kind of games, so let's do it one more time here. Hopefully I won't die. Shoot. So, I'm see, I told you, this game is bugged out. Um, <laughs> there we go. All right. Hey, apples. Good. Oh, got a sweet machine gun. Awesome. So this weapon is called the 777 Pissfire. Uh, <laughs> I love the name. I think it's great. All right. Let's make our way through the rest of this demo. Almost done here, guys. What is that? Hey, buddy. What? Where are you? What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Um, so there's a lot that's... Uh, <laughs> There's a lot that's still broken, like I said. So I don't know why he was facing that wall, but okay. All right. Okay, so we got the last portion of the level here. Oh my goodness, okay. Right there. Oh, 
I really love this part of the level. Really beautiful work from Felipe. A little strange, um, per my direction, but whatever. So I think something that we're really going to focus on for this uh, for this game is just creating a lot of different enemy types. I love the environments. I love the way the guns feel, but I think we probably need a little bit more variety with the with the enemies. Oh, oh! Ah! All right, let's see what to do with this guy here. Out of ammo. All right, save it. Steve, are you there? It's Dad. Listen to me. Something is wrong with this place. We've got a flight back to Atlanta in one hour. Just tell me where you are and- You don't get it, do you? What? I like it here. I live here. My family is here. I am your family. Your mother- Since when? Since when has that ever been? Tell me where you are. We're going. This is just like getting a call from you in prison. Please, Eve. All right, guys, that is the father demo. Uh, again, I'm not sure if we're going to have this on HIO right during the launch of this video, but I might update it so some of you can click below maybe in the future and the demo will be there.